is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. The weekend, but I hope you all are doing well out there. Thank you, as always, for tuning in, for downloading, all of that. Hey, good night. Have, have a good one. No, um, appreciate it, as always. A lot of things to uh, talk about today on the program because we've got the Dolphins in Arizona, which, listen, for me, it's – I'm like a kid in a candy store now with the Dolphins. I, I used to be the bitter beer face guy with the Dolphins. Right, because I kind of knew that what I was looking at was nothing. I kind of knew that they weren't really building anything. I kind of knew that the coach, whoever it was, that was in place over the last 20 years wasn't really the guy. You know, you always had that feeling. And, uh, and I always felt bad with some of, I, I, you know, as brutally honest as I am with some of you out there, I want you to know that deep down inside, I feel bad that I have to be brutally honest. Right, because you know, five, ten years ago, I get the 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 doll fan that kind of, you know, there's a certain group of fans. Doesn't matter what team, but they kind of spin anything, and they think every year is going to be great, and every year they're going to win a ton of games, and every year it's ten plus. And then I got to be the one to tell them, hey, bro, they don't really have a quarterback. They don't really they don't really have a, a head coach. Um, they don't really have a great offense they don't really have a gm they don't really have you know what i'm saying so it, it's one of those things that it, it's it's crazy but when i would tell the doll fan that and i would deflate that person i felt terrible that i deflated them you know and i know a lot of times when i run into you guys you'll say no i get it dude you got to look at it not like a fan and all that and and and, and listen I, I feel terrible that I had to do those things over the years. Not that I'm ever going to stop, okay? Because when I said Dale Talon needed to get fired in February, I had to say it, bro. I had to say it because nobody else in town had the balls to say Dale Talon needs to go. I was the first one publicly that asked, and, and, and when I would bring it up to people, they were all kind of uh, taken aback. They were all a little worried. Why? Because of what he did in Chicago. But it was like it gets to a point where, what have you done here? So I'm always going to be brutally honest. And I'm going to be brutally honest about this. I'm so jacked about the Dolphins because I know we're headed in the right direction. I know they're going to be winning. I know they got a football structure now. I know they've got a coach now. I know they've got their young quarterback now. I'm watching a young offensive line develop. And, hell, you might get your left tackle back this week to add even more depth to the offensive line, whether he starts or maybe they keep him on the bench for this week and then start him next week and give him another week to get really acclimated and get himself back. And, you know, he had a lower leg injury, so maybe you want to, you know, take it easy with the guy. Um, but I'm just saying, it, it just, for me now, when I when I get ready for every game every week now, there's an inspiration now. There is belief. There is confidence. Remember what I was telling you a couple days ago during the trading deadline when they made the trade with the Patriots? I said, yo, relax, man. Relax. This is a different Dolphins team, man. They're not getting, you know, uh, bamboozled by the Patriots anymore. Those days are done, bro. The Patriots were the desperate team, the desperate team that gave up a pick. The Dolphins gave up a receiver they could easily give up because they're developing two young guys to take over his spot anyways. And they took a flyer on a free agent that is either first to second round talent at worst case scenario. And if the kid screws his head on right, they're going to have themselves one hell of a receiver. Okay? So to me, that's where I, I, you'll notice, any of you that have followed me for years you'll notice that I'm a different Orlando Alzigari about the Dolphins since last year when Chris Greer took over. I, I, I've been a completely different person. And I, it's because now I think we, we know what we're looking at. You know? And, and we should all feel good about what we're looking at. 
I feel good about the Dolphins this weekend. You know, people are making a big stink about, well, you know, they got the running backs hurt and, and this and that. And it's, it's not like the running game has been dominating anyway. So it, it, the guys that are there, it's not like it should be any worse or any, you know, maybe hopefully better. But I doubt it's going to get any worse than what it's been. So, and you're playing a lesser front seven this week than you were last week. So that alone should give you a chance to have a little bit more success. I get it. We don't have Fitzpatrick running wild and that he really was a difference maker for the running game because he was running, you know, many times where he was making a difference in certain plays. But for me, that's kind of the attitude I have now that when I look at a game every week, I'm inspired. Even the week that they're going to play Kansas City, I'm not going to tell you they're going to win, but I'm going to tell you, hey, man, I'm looking forward to this matchup as a measuring stick. In years past... I would be fearful of that game, hiding my wife, hiding my kids, hiding my dogs. I don't want them to see the, the massacre. You know, that's kind of the way, because it's kind of what you expected. Now, it's a different world, man. It's a different world. It's a lot of fun now looking forward to Dolphin games.